Hello, I'm Rush the Soviet Gamer and welcome to my very first Let's Play video. The game I'll be playing over the next few days is my favorite game from my childhood, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers 2, which is based on a Disney TV show broadcast in Russia throughout the early and mid 90s. This is the one of the very first games I've ever played, the first one being DuckTales 2, which is also based on a brilliant classic TV show from Disney about Scrooge McDuck, the richest duck in the world. This, on the other hand, is a game based on a TV show about a team of chipmunks and mice that live in a tree and solve crimes together. Often <laughs> come into fights with uh, Fat Cat, their arch nemesis. Here comes a little cutscene, just to get a little bit of the story for you. Oh no, a bomb threat. <laughs> That's right, a bomb. By the look of things, in a Disney cartoon. Oh, gadget. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have had a crush on her back in the day when they were kids. <laughs> Don't you dare call me a furry for that. And this guy is Montre Jack, or we call him Rocky in Russia. <laughs> A completely different name, I know. I don't know how they came up with that one. <laughs> Zipper! Zipper! Let's go! <laughs> Rescue Rangers away! In other news, a some feeling well. sort of, you know, escaped. <laughs> Well, 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 let's get going. Uh, this game is obviously way better played with a teammate. So someone could play Dale and you can play Chip. I always pick Chip personally, because he's the coolest of the bunch. Another good advantage of uh, playing uh, with a teammate is uh, if one of you dies, you don't have to start the whole level from the start. Basically, uh, if you die while playing in co-op, the other guy kind of flies in in a balloon until his lives run out. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> some uh, enemies in this game are definitely hidden. Can be hard to spot. What you gotta look out for is a slightly different shade on uh, the boxes. Oh, and by the way, that's right, I just picked up an enemy. Knock that bugger out. <laughs> Whoops, I missed. Too bad. I don't care. <laughs> Super throw. 
Paul Muscat cut the you. Well, I usually never get that one. He's always there off screen, glitched out. This is a tricky area. Around here, if you're not playing co-op, you got no hope of getting everything. There's even specific levels in this game that are only available if you're playing with a partner. It's quite a funny story actually this one time. <laughs> I have uh, sort of picked up two controllers for my old uh, Russian uh, Chinese Nintendo clone. And they basically kind of played as both characters at once. Mainly by the means of picking the other chipmunk up and using him as a weapon. And that way I got myself the access to all of the co-op levels, which was a bit of fun, a bit of a project. Oh, and by the way, I never lose. Cutscene! I don't know who the heck this rabbit is, but uh, apparently he's got something to do with a bomb. Ooh, a diversion I see. It's quite funny that back in the day, <laughs> when I played this in Russia, there was no translation available whatsoever. So, <laughs> yeah. The bad thing about playing Nintendo in Russia? Almost all games are in Japanese. Yep, that's right. A Russian's expected to read Japanese hieroglyphs. Yikes. <laughs> so, obviously, <laughs> I did not find out what this game's storyline was right up until, like, 2004 when I read up about it on Wikipedia. And it's time to kick this bugger's ass. <laughs> You gotta really watch out for those crates, because they might just come down on your head and knock you out, giving him the opportunity to get the upper hand. However, sometimes uh, he might get lucky that uh, the crate automatically spawns on top of the enemy, or slides down and drops on top of his head, which is quite funny, which means basically you just got a free hit. <laughs> And he's gone down. And here's the point of collecting all of the R and R uh, logos. That is how it's done. <laughs> yep. If you follow my uh, method of collecting it two up. That's exactly how you gotta do it. You'll never miss it. And I never ever miss again. Ooh, sounds like a lot of responsibility. Hmm. Which wire should I cut? Which wire? Which wire? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Will it be the red one or the blue one? I'll go for blue. Fuck it. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Carry on. Cut the damn wire. And that was lucky. Well, well, well. This is where I'm going to go off now. And I'm gonna see you on the next uh, Let's Play video. And that's that for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please rate, share, subscribe, and encourage other people to watch. I would love your support. Thank you. See you next video. Bye.